Petr Belbarov against Filip Ergovic. Really looking forward to seeing Ergovic, the big Croat. He's going to be our final bout. You could argue top of the bill. Still to come a little bit later on. So we're up to the super heavies. David's division, 91 kilograms. Tony uh, your cut. The Frenchman, big tall Frenchman in red against the Chinese boxer Zipa Wang. And there was a Chinese boxer, uh, Wu Li, in the men's welterweight division who uh, earned a quarter final berth earlier on. So, small clutch of Chinese boxers over here in Doha. And here's another one hoping to make a bit of progress. Shake hands, good luck. Wait. Box. Wow. Here we go then. South Pole, Wang in the blue. It's the uh, slightly taller Yoka. No, no, immediately, Wang Lang's a sharp right hook. China really developed in recent years in the build up to the Beijing Olympics. Good straight left hand from Wang then. On Yoka. Yeah, like the look of Wang, already a silver medalist in the Asian Confederations Championship earlier on this year. And he's not renowned as a puncher in the WSB, he had four bouts in the WSB, he didn't win a couple of them, all by points. Wang looks sharp with that straight left hand. Yeah, he's already landed that, and it was the right hook in the opening seconds. He's not the biggest for a super heavyweight either, so he's carrying speed. Speed kills. Yeah, he's beating Yoka to the punch. This by Wang. Yoka just needs to try and establish his jab. Although that is easier said than done against the southpaw opponent, but he is taller, so we can throw that jab over the lead right hand of Wang. Yeah, Yoka's got a bit of experience from the WSB and also more recently Pro Box 2. Slot in these championships, that bronze medal in Baku earlier on this year. Look at just out of range of that mini 40. Inside the final minute, two big eye catching punches from Zipa Wang. Yeah, Wang. Wang's look really skillful and Good footwear. He's got that speed. He must be closer to 91 kilograms than a, a, you know a, a big super heavyweight. But he's carrying it well. Closing seconds of this opening round. Good round for Wang so far. Yeah, Yoko just struggling to come to grips with the. Southpaw style of Wang, but I really do like the look of Wang. Skill-wise, he's got plenty of it. It shows you, doesn't it? That a sort of sharper, faster little man beating the, the muscle-bound big guy. Yeah, the speed. It's old in that round for me. And interestingly, wow. 
Yukas won that on the scorecards. I thought Wang done enough to win that round, and I thought he landed the better shot. Well, it, I mean, I think in any close round, Yoko was coming forward but not landing anything. And there was two really big punches in that round that both came from Wang. Well. It's better from, yeah, sorry, David, better from Yoko. Because it can create space to, to land. We should be doing the same. He should be moving to his left and to Wang's right, but he just seems to be moving to the right a lot. It's sharp, that right hand from Yoka. Yeah, he's trying to get Yang on the back foot. To keep him quiet. On half his ten bouts, the WSB Yoka, the national champion, Jack Coleman, France as well. And he's just controlling things a bit better in this round. And in that exchange, it was Yoka who forced Wang to back up. Yeah, he come out better. Come out on top of that one, Joker. And he's starting to force the issue a little bit more this round, pushing Wang back with his jab. Still a minute of this round to go. Joker in his third world championship, never been beyond the second round yet. Here he is in the second round with a quarter final place up for grabs. Good jab by Joker, but then Wang landed the Quality backhand off the back of that. Yeah, there was a couple of punches from Yang and then a right hand from Yoko. Oh, good right hand from Yoko. Starting to get through all oh, on the left hook there. Starting to get through a little bit more now, Yoko with those longer arms. I think this round really has been better for him. I thought Wang took done enough for the first round. Yoko targeting the body with that right hand. Yeah. And that right hand has been the story of that round for the Frenchman Tony Yoko. Ooh. I think Wang was starting to feel it, maybe just slowing down a little in that particular round. It's a little bit of consternation. In the corner is confirmation that Yoka did win that round. First, debatable, seriously debatable. I think Wang won that, but Yoka the second, and he's very much in control. Yeah, that was a round for Yoka. He's starting to pick his work up. That long jab out and the sharp right hand to the body worked well in that round. We want to continue that this round. While Wang, being the smaller man, probably hasn't worked in his favour. Here we go then, into the final round. Tony Yoka, the big Frenchman in the red. Again, he throws a terrific right to the body and then three unanswered punches all connected. Yeah, very accurate as the bout's gone on, Yoka. And it's a credit to him because he has got a tricky, smaller man in front of him who's probably got the edge in speed on the face of it and the south pole to boot. A couple of good punches from Wang, but there's an excellent cut body shot from Yoka with the right hand prior to that. It's a really good little match-up between the pair of these. <laughs> right 
right hand has been a great shot for Joker as the bout's gone on. The jab there, yeah, he, he's warmed into it nicely. And is that just a, a case of getting your timing or more about working out the opponent in front of you? I think it's a bit of both in this case, Alex. I think this is Joker's first of the tournament. Is that right? His first contest of the tournament, I think it is. And yeah. So, you know, he's had, he's, he's had to wait a while to get going. And first round, he's took a look. He's taken a look at Wang. And as it's gone on, he started to open him up. with his own effort and it's been a spirited effort he was uh, fast but accurate in the first round and slowly but surely Yuka has just picked up and picked up and applied the pressure he's got his boxing together too yeah good performance from Yoka I'm, I'm impressed Good boxing skills, calm temperament, kept his discipline and kept to the same tactics throughout, so he's, he's passed a, a good test tonight. Another big right hand from Yoka there, they touch gloves, that was a good scrap, it's a good test for Yoka. In the end he's uh, be a worthy winner of that one. Have really made Yoka think in that first round. Gave a, a few scares. Start to book himself a slot in the quarterfinals tomorrow night. So France have a quarterfinalist in the super heavyweight division. There's confirmation of a clean sweep on the scorecards all the way through for Tony Yoka. And Joe Joyce beating the really tough um, Araoui, the Moroccan, in the other uh, corner. So really good night for Great Britain, five boxers. Kane, Boatzi uh, had the toughest assignment. He wasn't able to, to make it through against the big Cuban, but four of the other boxes all through to the quarterfinals. Yeah, so that's four in with a chance of a medal, which 